That is fast. Check this out. And you know what? You could really make a nice little pieces out here. Seven ton horizontal double flyer electric lock splitter. So I always wanted to get one of this when they came out. Had to order it from Northern Tools. I think that's why I got it from. So let's see what it's about. This is a really small one. Wow, nice packaging. Wow. So it looks like there's wheels. Like a stand. Very, very minor assembly. So look how well it's packed. I don't think it's very heavy because it's electric, so probably don't even have to take apart the box. Oh, oh cool. Never mind. It's even easier. The whole thing comes off. What? I guess the straps holding it really well. Wow, that was awesome. There is one so really nice and expensive. I got the cheapest one first to just see if I like it and maybe we're gonna upgrade for a bigger one in the future beat this one up first all right this two is done let's do wheels next assembly wasn't that bad at all then you have a handle right here all your weight is in the back so it's like leverage it pretty good and there is a stopper you want to lift up pretty nice okay let's put it to the test so let's fire it up all we have to do is pull this up and turn it on. Oh, looks like it shuts off if you push it. Once you lock it in, you don't have to hold it. Wow, that was awesome. Okay, that's kind of cool for the smaller stuff like that. And I do have a lot of this kind of stuff, small things. A little bit different view. fast check this out and you know what you could really make a nice little pieces out here that is nice oh, I'll go like this. so this usually would be big enough but in my opinion if you have pieces like that they heat up the house a little better so maybe it doesn't chop those ones, but it's really annoying to chop this little stuff with the ox because they don't really stand, especially into these little pieces. Now it makes sense why you want to have one of these. Because it's still too big to burn it like that. But this thing is just got some so far. And I like smaller pieces, less smoke and dries better. That's cool. I also like it how it locks it in, doesn't work. You can unlock it and keep away free from it. Because it's fast. You see? That's cool. That's a little bit fast. Also, I think you can do the stopper so that way it doesn't go backwards. So as you can see, it's pretty nice. Smaller pieces like that. Boom. It's just so satisfying. And you kind of sitting on the ground, you don't have to bend over. You probably will be working with smaller pieces anyway. So that's kind of nice. Let's see if this lone one will work. Wow, no way. It did a longer one too. I thought it'll have some hard time. Maybe this will do right here. Yeah, that's annoying to have this time. Probably you'll have to go like that. There we go. You see how it's backing off? There is a stopper right here, a brake. You can turn down. So that way it doesn't go backwards. That's the idea of it. I haven't engaged it. Nice, it's there. Off. That bigger piece. That's nice. Look at that. Maybe this one one more time. And 
and this is much much bigger piece let's see how it does wow so if you get this kind of poplar wood it can do it you see there is not still doing it so you can do even bigger pieces like that and you know what that's pretty quickly just don't try to do big big pieces a bunch of firewood split really, really fast and it's annoying one that is not fun to split by axe this side here probably easy to split by axe anyways so that was a good test all this annoying medium size small size logs I would use that for sure and put lock on turn it off done plug it in a little way super easy I like it okay when you're done just cover it like that it's kind of leverages out to where it's actually pretty easy to lift it up and put it away out of the way.